Everybody, it's Tyler. I'm here at the Las Vegas Regional with 2485, the Warlords. Fantastic team they have here today. I'm here with AJ, Abby, and Liam. We're going to talk a bit about the robot on behind the bumpers. So, 2045, you guys had already a fantastic event. You already won Chairman's Award this year so far. You won it here in Las Vegas last year. So now that that's out of the way, you guys are already qualified to go to World Championships. What's the next step here at the Las Vegas Regional? Well, back in 2014, we actually won the Las Vegas Regional, and we are hope that we can come back four years later and win it again. That's our goal here today. Well, that's great. And right now, you're the number one seed as we go into the end of our qualification rounds. So as we talk about some things that your robot uh, might be able to do, what, what are some things that you've looked at between your last regional and this one that you guys might have improved upon? Well, actually, one of the biggest things that we improved upon between San Diego and Las Vegas is that we actually built a climber in that in those few weeks. So um, it was 100% student designed. We basically attached a winch. Uh, you can see this right here. Um, it's just our rope and then our hook which is actually encased in a, a sheath right now, so you can't see it right now. But basically, the arm goes up with the with the rope attached, and then um, we hook on, and then the the, the hook drops onto the onto the uh, bar, and then you just use the motor and climb up. So simple, but works really well. Absolutely, and Liam, let me, let me talk to you here for a second here. So you guys are, as I mentioned, the number one seed right. here so far. I know you really want a big win coming up. So what has been kind of your key for strategy improvement? I know you talked about the climber you just had here. What about strategy-wise? How has that evolved overall? Uh, a lot of the things that we've been doing in terms of uh, from San Diego to Vegas is uh, really maintaining our consistency because we had that entire regional plus a few weeks between them to really iron out the kinks, and that's why we've been a lot more consistent at this regional, I'd say, than in actually probably most of the regionals in general for our team. Uh, we haven't, we only had one match in which things truly did not go the way that we wanted them to go and so I think that's in part due to the uh, fairly uh, simple, not, not entirely simple, but fairly simple design that allows us to really hone in and get things where they need to be instead of trying to fix a million and one parts. So I want to jump back before we get into a couple of features on your robot about the Chairman's Award a little bit. You guys have been perennial Chairman's Award winners. I mean, what, what's really your key to success for that? What do you keep doing year over year that gets you guys to, to really earn the Chairman's Award? Because you guys have earned that, right? And you, and you keep doing it year after year. So what, what's really the, the secret sauce? Uh, I mean, I'd say two things. One, uh, we've been on this team for four years at max, but we've, I'd say, inherited programs that have been going on for much longer. Sure. So I can't say that we've, as students, done everything, uh, but we've in a lot of our programs have been going for five years, six years, seven years, and it's just been amazing to be part of a program that has that to present. And then the second part is that we take our chairman's presentation as seriously as we take our drive team or any other part of the team. So we're in there practicing five, six, seven days a week, three to four hours a day to make sure that we put our best foot forward. We know that whatever we do, we want to make sure that if we lose, it's not because we didn't have the best presentation. It's because there's another team that's better out there. And we all know first never sleeps, right? It, it goes, it, it never ends you know, throughout oh, yeah. the whole year. All right, so let's show up a couple of cool features on your robot. Who wants to talk about uh, what's going on for that? So, I guess I'll start off with our arm. A lot, uh, something you don't see common this year is people using an arm rather using an elevator sure, and yeah. system to lift up cubes up. So can we see some of that happen during this? We can, we can test. We have uh, different set points in code set point. That's our switch, actually. That's our switch set point. That's our four foot or uh, six foot. And then we have the seven foot. So just the ability to have those set points uh, programmed and ready to for our operator just hit the button, move that set point, driver knows what to do, really efficient, really fast, really fast and I'm really proud of that this year. Good luck to you guys uh, in this competition. We'll see you guys in the playoffs, hopefully looking for a deep run here. Thank you. Thanks guys.